Yeah, well, I wanted to ask you about that because I'm, I'm, Rita will look astonished with what I'm about to say, but I'm about to praise Dan Andrews for actually standing up for Israel and saying that it was the only democracy in the Middle East where they had gay rights and they supported gay rights. And, in fact, there is some, a lot of truth in that. I want to get your uh, viewpoint on the uh, forthcoming National Labor Conference and how far they will go in their anti-Semitic, anti-Israel ideas. But two stories recently out of Israel, Michael. One was a, a young woman, a gay woman, who, uh, an Arab woman who had sought uh, refuge in northern Israel. Uh, her brother, an Arab, uh, is now being uh, sought for having killed her. Uh, they believe the brother was responsible for killing the 18-year-old girl because, she, uh, because of her sexuality. She'd sought uh, to hide in Israel to get away from her Palestinian family. There's another case of a homosexual Arab given refuge in Israel who was kidnapped by uh, unknown Arabs and beheaded. So Israel actually protects and looks after gays, even non-Israeli gays. Uh, good on Dan Andrews for standing up for them. But this, of course, will be completely overlooked by the uh, virulently anti-Israeli uh, national conference, correct? With Bob Carr and the likes uh, insisting on recognition well, it, of Palestine. It's, it's not only that. This issue leads into bigger issues like AUKUS. Will the socialist left, who will have a majority for the first time since the great 1955 Labor split, um, uh, use their numbers to vote the government down on immediate recognition of a Palestinian state and opposition to AUKUS? Now, I think um, they'll be faced with a conflict of disloyalties um, uh, they'll dump their, their policy on AUKUS uh, to support ALBO because how can they not support their prime minister and their foreign minister and their gang who are basically running things? Um, but they may have to throw a bit of red meat to the, uh, the, to the socialist left, and one of those might be immediate recognition of a Palestinian state. As for Dan Andrews, great. It's very good that the Premier of Victoria... Does uh, has an issue which uh, you support, Rowan. I'm sure he'll be happy uh, right. with that. <laughs> he'll be um, cracking the bubbly, uh, Michael, this evening. <laughs> but but the, the point is, um, Dan Andrews, you own the Victorian Labor Party. You abolished it for four years. You reconstructed it so that 400-plus of the 600 delegates at last weekend's conference were from the socialist left. A total reversal of the situation pre-COVID. And, and, you know, don't sit on the sidelines in your hotel room and, um, and drink champers while uh, the conference is going on. Go down there and try and discipline your Victorian socialist left um, acolytes to uh, uh, vote with you on that Israel issue. It's not, not uh, right for a leader to sort of uh, sit on the sidelines and say, oh, well, um, you know, they're all off to be executed. It's not my business. There you go. Michael Danby, always great to chat to you. You've got a plane to catch, so we'll let you go. Thank you so much for speaking to Outsiders.